This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Can you please be on All Stars 5? Please? Hell no, I ain't doing no goddamn All Stars 5. Nina, you're on. Okay, oh, hey, I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nina, maybe this time have a little bit more. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I got you. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. All right. Renita Brown, take two. <clears throat> Action. I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Disney Channel. Nina Channel. Oops. Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, though Nina Brown, and you uh, are now- Hold on, Nina. Uh, we've got an audio issue. What? Fish and chips, one second. We're just fixing it. Tea and crumpets. God. Sorry, Nina. Uh, oh, I'm oh, Nina, though Nina. Hold on. This British nigga got one more time. You know what? I need a break. God damn chicken shit gigs. The other girls doing work the world tour. I didn't get the role for DC Comics. And here I am doing these damn bootleg Disney skits. The fuck? Uh, Rita Brown, back to set, please. I'm coming, goddammit. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. We need just, um, just a little bit more energy. Nina. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more time. <clears throat> I'm Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Osama, Bin Laden, Michael Jordan, Jordan Peele, the oldest Maya Angelou Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> uh, hold, on, hold on, Nina, we've just got... A, oh, oh. One last time, this is it. I'm tired. I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long do I have to smile? <laughs> oh, we're done with you, Nina. Fish and chips. Something's coming. Hi, now. Come on, get moving. And welcome back to a all new raw view with your girl, once again, Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Ghostwire, Tokyo Brown. See, I had to get that correct. Now it's correct now. Welcome back, piggies. Oink, oink, petty is great. Hey, girls. Hey, guys. Hey, boys. Hey, in betweens. Hey, hey, queen. Hey, back for another raw view don't bring your condoms it's raw over here okay but not for sex uh, -uh. but yes guys y'all know how we do this is a place where you come to keep it cute keep it mute or you'll get that boot meaning come here look i give my opinions it's not to be taken serious 
a lot of people think like me but are too scared to say, th say the things that I say, which is why a lot of people like watching my channel because I say things that people want to say but they're too scared to say it. But I keep it respectful. Okay, it doesn't mean I don't like anybody just because I don't like their outfit or per se. You know, and if you have something to say, share your opinions, but keep it respectful. That's what we do here. And if you get out of line and you get too messy, you will be blocked and chopped immediately. But yeah, this look right here is based off of the game Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, I can't think of the character's name because they have different monsters within that game. And this one was really creepy. It stood out to me. She wears a face mask, but I can't find my good mask. Like, I don't know where my face mask is. But at least she's a monster that kills, but also cares about catching corona. If you've ever heard the legend of the slit-mouthed woman, then this next enemy will look instantly familiar. The Kuchisaki comes in two forms. One dressed in white and wearing a face mask. So if you're gonna kill, you don't wanna catch corona in between, right? Am I right? But I need to go change my eyes really quick because I can't see. These are the contacts that like the Booty Brothers wear. And I don't know how they do it. Okay, I have my eyes now. These are white out eyes. The other ones are white out too, but these have like a circle in the middle so I can see better. Thank God. Even though the ones, the other ones are cooler. And thank you moderators. Um, even though one be doing a little more. But thank you moderators for being back and helping me for another week, another couple of weeks. <laughs> Getting the girls in check. I appreciate it. Uh, we're actually, we've been on Twitch watching the new season of Stranger Things. And I must say, I'm actually into it. We're into it. I think we're on episode five already. It's pretty good. I'm feeling it. It has more of like a horror kind of like tone to it. So I'm feeling it. What do you guys think of y'all watching it? Um, yeah. I'm in a better spirits at the moment, you know, and oh, thank you because like more people did kind of show up and show out and come watch um, some of the stuff. I actually cut the comments off a little bit on my um, last video. I'm just tired of giving these haters power to like say anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, talk that talk on other pages, but like, you know, why not cut the comments off? But I hate cutting them off because I like for I like I like seeing all the positive comments, all the ones who come here to be positive, you know? But at the same time, I'm like, I'm tired of giving people power. Cause when they when they don't have the power to say anything, it makes them so mad and so upset. So then they go to other outlets to be messy. Speaking of other outlets, <laughs> what's the name of that channel? They are so shady. The page is Drag Race Season 14. And then <laughs> basically they put a thumbnail like my Naomi Campbell look with like red angry eyes and like Shay in the background. And it says Nina Bonina Brown hatefully hating on Shay. <laughs> and of course it gets a lot of views because and people people love foolery. Like they don't like positive stuff. And everybody swears that I hate Shay. So come on clickbait, because all it was was the videos of me like complimenting Shay. <laughs> So yes, ma'am, get the girls together, yes. <laughs> Clickbait realness. Okay, we can do a hanger bang, yay. Today's hanger bang is fiction, but today's hanger bang would be between Batman and Superman. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, see this is a hard one because they always change how Batman looks. So I don't really know how he really truly looks because his face changes so much. But I'm imagining him in my head right now. Dark hair, chiseled jaw, jawline, debonair, handsome. Superman, we all know he's handsome. Clark Kent. And I'm not even thinking about, what's his name? Robert Cavill, Cavill. I'm not even thinking about him. Just, I'm just thinking about just, just, just the characters. I want to say Superman, but I feel like if he tops me, even though we all know I'm a top. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> if he tops me, I feel like when if he comes, it's gonna shoot through my stomach like a laser and kill me. So I don't know if it's safe. 
So because of that, I'm going to choose Batman. Yeah. At least he's human. <laughs> Who do y'all choose? And that has been hang or bang. I'm going to go ahead and read the tips first. Because tipping is what? Not a city in China. It really isn't. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. And I don't mean Robbie Turner. Okay. Thank you, that bitch, for that part and that tip. Thank you, Ryan Kinslow. Thank you for the two tips. Thank you, Marcel Emerson. Thank you. Thank you, Augustus Brown Jr. Not to be confused with Nina Bonina Brown. Okay. I don't have any kids. My coochie's still tight. Hey. Thank you, Paul Benson. Thank you, Natalie Asun. Thank you for the good tip. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alex XOXL. Thank you, sweetie. Wait. Alex comes to my Twitch. I don't want to call him sweetie. Cause I don't think anybody in my Twitch is sweet. Speaking of Twitch, okay, look. Because people have been coming around trying to cruise and crouch and creep and creep. You got to subscribe. Can't just sit there and watch in the background. No, ma'am. Because people, it's not fair to the ones who have subscribed. And they come there. They pay their money. And we get to watch stuff. So, yeah, if you're going to come there, thank you for coming. But you have to subscribe. You know, you got to drop a couple of dollars. Thank you, Yolanda Jernigan Lotion. Thank you, Peter Lilac. Lick, 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 lick. Thank you. I think, oh, I think I missed you last time, actually. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Michael Hicks. Thank you, Dane Walton Jr. Thank you, Giselle Guerrero. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gabrielle Maximin. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher Mitchell. Thank you for the good tip, love. Thank you, Helen Lopez. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Marcus Wilson. You're black and you tip me. Times are changing. Thank you. Thank you, Ro uh, whatever, Robert Camacho. Anyway, hey, Buddhist back. Thank you, Adrian Warren. Thank you, Lennon Pulgarg. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael Minter. Thank you, On Purpose Investment Group. <laughs> what kind of name? <laughs> Thank you, Theodore Craighead. I thought I said Crackhead at first. <laughs> Thank you, Theodore, for that big old tip. Thank you. Thank you... Kira Williams, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Derek Pollock, for the big old tip, for the juicy tip. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Tommy Lee Gauthier. I love saying your name. Oh, thank you, Christian. Fault. 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 Not that. It's F O C H T. Fault. <laughs> thank you, Jasha Cleger. Cleger. Thank you. Thank you, Brendan Mattinelli. Come on, and Mattinelli. Thank you, Carlos Alva, again. Thank you, George Lane. Thank you so much. Thank you, Godfrey. Godfrey. Oh, really quick. Let's have a moment of silence just for everything that's been going on. Like, I really hope everybody out there who's as sensitive as I am are okay with, like, how the world's going. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's so concerned about drag and what drag queens are saying and doing and stuff. But it's meanwhile, real life is going on. War is going on. And secretly a war over here in the states kids dying not just kids just people any people dying for no reason it's been like back-to-back -back mass shootings mass killings it's crazy and then this recent one with the kids in texas 19 kids i believe and then then the teacher it is horrible so i just want to just do a moment of silence really quick And just want to say that I hope all of you out there and people who are affected by this, I really hope that y'all are okay. And I know they don't like people don't like to hear about God, but I hope that y'all are in God's arms, God, God's keep, His warmth, His protection. I hope that y'all's mental stability is fine. I just hope that everybody out there can just get through this because things are just going to continue to keep happening. But all you can do is just pray keep your head up as much as you can and just try to get through so just want to say that
And thank you, Quirious, for buying me this ugly ass purple SpongeBob outfit. Uh, no, thank you for real. <laughs> hey, I'm going through my phone trying to find comments. This is random, but for my people out there that are single and on Grinder and stuff like that and different apps and are, you know, sexual for the most part, how do y'all feel about sleeping with people in random areas? Like, you can't host, they can't host, but they're like, I know a spot. I know a spot. Like behind Dollar General or Dollar Tree. <laughs> are y'all okay with that? Like, are y'all cool with like meeting somebody in a random spot and just doing it? Because I am not, I don't like it. Like, I think we've all probably done something in a car or something like that. But like me, I'm 6'1". 6'1", 175, brown skin, full lips, size 12 inch foot, depending on the day, depending on the, on the week cheekbones to the gods oh sorry um but i'm too tall to be first off cramped up in the car i don't like to just only get womp 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 i like to go bam 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 so i need space okay like i need and i want to be and then if it's not at your place a hotel i like to be comfortable be able to be laid out do all kind of positions all kind of things not just like, I don't, and then having to look over my shoulder, making sure nobody's there, nobody's watching. And if you know about this secret spot, what makes you think that nobody else knows about this spot? So, me personally, because this guy kept begging me and begging me and begging me and begging me. And like, he's like, well, I don't know you. And, I, and, and so, he's a white guy. You know, a lot of white guys want to sleep with black guys, but they're secretly scared to invite them over because they don't want to be, they think you're going to rob them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm like, so you don't know me well enough to invite me over, but you don't, but you know me well enough to for me to meet you at a random spot where anything can happen. No, ma'am. But what do you guys think about that? Truly appreciate all the work you put into these videos. No one is doing it like you, and a season wouldn't be the same without them. Side note: Have you seen the King of Reeds video on Simone? I thought it was pretty, pretty it, pretty interesting, and would love to hear your thoughts. So somebody's asking for my thoughts. And y'all know I'm going to give my thoughts. So basically the video was him basically saying how Simone is, you know, supposed to be like the black token queen. Like she's black. But yet all you see her with is white people all the time. Being styled by white people. Hanging around white people. Um, basically saying like the stuff she does is kind of like just a mockery in a way or like doing what she thinks black people want to see pretty much um i can probably show y'all a clip or so simone's drag has been to me giving black cosplay and it makes me uncomfortable because simone would do this she would like you know ghetto this and that like hood this and that but you're not surrounded around folks who are in the hood what is going on what makes simone different from all of the other black drag queens before her when she's doing this stuff. Why are people so gravitated towards that? Why is RuPaul in love with her so much? Why is she able to get gigs and stuff that other black drag queens who are just as talented as her and, and, and do the same stuff, why are they not able to do that? And then I started to see that Simone was in a house with nothing but white folks like like nothing but white folks i didn't see no black folks and i'm not gonna lie like i kind of have said or thought these thoughts not just about her but other certain black queens too from drag race you know all you see them with or dating is white people <laughs> but nothing is wrong that you can't help who you love and at the same time i get it to an extent because like i said before when I used to go to the black clubs, doing the talent shows and stuff, blacks are hard to please. <laughs> it makes you a better queen, though. But, like, they are really, really, really judgmental. <laughs> like, and you go to a white club, like, back in the day, bitch, they, you could sneeze and fart. Like, yes, tip, dollar, 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 dollars. So sometimes you do feel a little more appreciated by different races. But not to the point where you just, you don't, like, you don't even see this person around black people and and he said and like he said and like 
RuPaul always carrying him around. And I guess because RuPaul sees herself in, sees herself in Simone, because RuPaul been made up by white people too. That's all you see RuPaul with. And it seems like the ones who are always around white people are the ones that are more successful. Like if you're like a black black queen, like a Jazz Masters, a me, a Tyra Sanchez, girl, the Vivian. I mean, sorry, the the Vixen. <laughs> you're too black. You're not sellable. But if you're like those other queens, you're sellable. It's almost like the Supremes. How Flo may have had a powerful, stronger voice, but Diana Ross had a more lighter voice. Her look was a little more able to 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 reach over to other races and like you know cross over, and so that's why she was more sellable. And I guess that's just what it is. I do. Don't you know? That's my thoughts. I I do think some people do sell out a little bit. I do. I'm not saying her, but I'm just saying in general, some people do sell out. But they, I guess they gotta make that money. All the folks in the comments, I love you, Nina. Y'all need to start watching all her content and not just Drag Race. Even if you're not a gamer, it's so cool to watch for commentary and it's entertaining. Keep doing your thing, Nina. Like I ain't gonna lie. I love y'all too, but I was side eyeing a field, a field of love. I, I love you. So I'm like, I know y'all say y'all love me, but like, it's good to hear it, but like, actually, like, showing it is different. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not even about the gaming or so. It's about, I give the same kind of commentary that I would do in Drag Race. R whether it's a video game, a movie, whatever the case is, I'm still me in these other things. So it's like, if you like me for me, then you wouldn't mind watching these other things or supporting them, at least coming by and pressing a like or something. But if you're only there for Drag Race, then you wouldn't care. So, that's what we're saying, that's all. Gia says a lot of crazy stuff, but she commented on the fashion as a whole while Fira brought up looks. So it's a fair game from that point. When I was saying last week about um, Gia Gunn and Pheromone having an issue at DragCon, when Gia was like, I saw Zero Beauty and Pheromone came for her for how she looks like the scream mask. And exactly, that's what I'm saying, like, Pheromone kind of came at her looks. And so, right then, it's open, it's open. Like, bitch, I'm about to come for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are okay with certain queens reading certain queens, but then when that queen reads their favorite queen, then it's like an issue. It's like, oh, we're gonna attack you for this. Exactly. Hey, Nina, I had to jump into your DMs for this. There are so many clips on YouTube of your raw view content, and they are getting hundreds and thousands of views in some cases. I just wanted to make sure you're aware and that you are making the money on this reposted content. No. It's frustrating for me to see because everybody loves to hate on you and not support your channel, but when they see a stolen clip from your raw view, they're all up on it. Oh. Truth. Not just that, but like just like me, like when I post my looks, like whether it's a poodle or looks that have went viral, Jeffree Star, stuff I done years ago, things that I posted, like like there was a time on Facebook where I was like viral all the time. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then I don't know what happened. People start doing these false reports and then all of a sudden Facebook kind of stopped like showing my stuff or algorithm wise. But like, yeah, people will like take my looks or something, put it on TikTok or something and get all these hundred thousands of views and stuff. I post it myself. I'm like, oh, I got 10 likes. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, he says, maybe you can post your own compilations of yourself too. Because anything with your name on it is an instant success, yet people don't want to support your actual channel. Oh. I mean, don't clock the girls. Also, I do not like how the fandom suddenly worships Raja. For years, they have said every single thing about her because of Fashion Photo Review. Every single nasty thing over booting their faves and loving their hated queens. And now their stands just jolly to see her and attacking others over not being in love with her runways. The girls are clocking. The girls are clocking and bopping. Clocking and bopping. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock time. Um, <laughs> is that, <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. I, girl, look, I know. Cause I've been getting a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of comments on my page and every now and then I still watch you haul Even though, y'all know I'm still mad at her. <laughs> but I was looking at her stuff and all of her comment section was people like, "We, you're the real stuff. You do the real critiques. You're better than Fashion Photo Review. Got Mick and Violet, they're just mean girls. They don't know nothing. Da-da-da-da-da. 
dee ba da ba lee ba loo ba da ba. People are so phony. <laughs> because y'all must not know that you all be reading the girls too. I mean, like, really reading the girls. And it's like, once again, just because now they're coming for a Raja, coming for y'all's favorites, now all of a sudden y'all don't like Got Mick and Violet. And y'all know I don't care for them, especially Got Mick, okay? But the fact that everybody all of a sudden is turning against them just because they are being a little shady, which is what queens do, we shade and stuff like that. But at the same time, you should be giving like some critiques, not just being messy, you know? But it's like, I'm sure y'all were okay when they were reading some of the girls who you don't like, when they were being funny then and being messy then. Y'all y'all's okay with that. But the minute they come for your favorites, that's when y'all can't stand it. And this is what gets on my nerve. Why do y'all let other people's opinions dictate what you feel? Why does it get to y'all so bad? Like, if these shows really get to y'all that bad, y'all should not watch them at all. It's the same with me. Just because I don't like this or like that, people are like, oh, you're being so negative. So I'm being negative because I don't like somebody's look. <laughs> you are still free to like these people's looks. Whether I like them, Violet, or Got Mick likes them, or whoever. You're still free to like what you like. It doesn't matter what we say. You're still free to like it. It's just their opinions. It should not affect people that much that they get so mad and want to cancel people or whatever the case is just because they don't like a queen's look. It's not that serious at all. Like, I know that Drag Race, Drag Race likes to cater to the younger fan base now, but girl, y'all might want to go back to the grown folks because these people younger are so are so sensitive to things that they just don't understand how really gay culture and drag queens work. <laughs> they think everybody's supposed to be bubblegum and sparkles and love everything. And it's like, that's not real world. It's not real life. Okay, so that was comments. Now a little bit of like news. The Power Rangers have an all new superhero. Or shall I say, super villain. It has been said that over on Hornet, we're discussing the new non-binary villain, the Death Ranger. Now, why in the hell is there, why is there a non-binary Power Ranger? Why do we care? We, like, what? Like, come, this, this is just ridiculous, girl. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> bitch in the 90s we didn't care if they were gay straight whatever the case was we just want to know could they kick butt <laughs> do i need to know their sexual orientation i don't need to know i don't care why is this something imp like why and then of course he would be a villain <laughs> okay caitlin jenner is in the news and i think she's being canceled there's so many things on youtube Caitlyn Jenner says everybody thinks they're trans because it's so highly publicized in the media. I'm going to show you the video. There's so many things on YouTube on kids who have transitioned and people see this. Um, and it's become right now, this issue has become so big almost every day on the news. There's something about being trans. Mm -hmm. That kind of bothers me, to be honest with you. For this reason, being trans is about that much of the population. It is such a small group of people who are actually trans or really suffering with gender dysphoria. And right now, because of the amount of publicity that it's getting, um, it's like everybody thinks they're trans, which is not the case. There's so many things on YouTube. So I never thought the day would come where I would kind of be like rocking with Caitlyn. But I, y'all know I've been saying these things and I know, like, I just really, I'm talking to the people out there who are mature enough to understand when somebody is just having their opinion, seeing things a different way and not jumping to somebody being transphobic. I'm talking to you guys. The other people, I don't see them. I don't know them. Um, 
I've been pretty much seeing, I mean, there's no way some of y'all out there can't really notice that it does seem like everybody is trans a lot more all of a sudden because it has become a popular thing and it has become of a trending kind of thing. And that's not everybody's case. Listen to what I'm saying. That is not everybody's case, okay? Because some people really have been struggling with gender dysphoria, not knowing what they are for years, a long time. Some people don't, don't didn't have the finances or means to finally transition and do what they want to do. So it took them a little longer. But then there are a lot of people who think, well, I'm a feminine guy. I guess that means I'm trans. It's like, no, that's not how it works. No. Or just saying you're trans because you know you're going to get a lot of likes and stuff. And like that is happening. That is a fact. It is happening. I know we don't like to hear the truth, but it is happening. And that's pretty much what Caitlyn is saying. And it's just the sad truth. And it takes away from real people out there who really go through that. You know, it's and it's not fair to them. It's almost like, it's just like being gay is just not good enough anymore. You have to add on all these other equations to it now. To be seen. But for I really want people to understand that just because you're feminine, or you may want to dress more feminine, or you have these thoughts, it doesn't mean you're trans. You just are maybe a feminine person exploring that side of you. Because a lot of these young people end up detransitioning because they didn't really think it out think it out um thoroughly and really take the time to seek help and make sure that's what they wanted to do and they're just doing it because they see it on tiktok because they see it on twitter because they see it on instagram because they see it on drag race that should not be your reason for transitioning and i know that we're in a place now where it is becoming more acceptable so you will see more people coming out because of that but at the same time once again there are people doing it just because it is a fad it's something that's trending and that is just the gospel truth it is and if anybody gets mad at me saying that then you're childish you're childish and you're not listening you're the kind of person who likes to hear a few words, run with it, and make your own thoughts about something. If you actually sit here and listen to every word I'm saying, then you should have no reason to be mad. Because I didn't come for anybody. I didn't come for anybody. I, I didn't make fun of anything. Nothing I said is transphobic. It's just me seeing things in two different, three, three or so different ways. Everything is just not peaches and cream, people. It's not. Everything is not what it seems. Even, even some of your favorites who are, y'all think are just angels, they're not. <laughs> Trust and believe they probably have the same thoughts, just too scared to say it. And that's news. And actually, I missed like two comments <laughs> really quick. Geminis are crazy. <laughs> they're very two-faced. Naomi Campbell watching this as a Gemini herself. <laughs> I forgot she is a Gemini, but I'm not surprised. Because, you know, she goes from being really sweet to really mean. <laughs> Oh, not, not the bulldog shade. So true. I was there and guys were wearing sandals looking like old dads. I told you. I told you they'd be sliding on that floor looking like old poppies with, with, with pot bellies. <laughs> oh, this is something I've seen. Um, I guess somebody posted this. They said, Pop Cray. RuPaul tells Jimmy Kimmel that he does, in fact, have favorites among the many contestants to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race. Of course I have favorites, but I'm not going to tell you who they are. RuPaul, we know. It's the, it's the one that y'all throw in our face all the time. I mean, it's obvious. It's like parents. Parents are like, I don't have any favors. I love all my kids equally. No, you don't. <laughs> we know, girl. Anyway, thank y'all for sitting through that, which is this is the whole Raw View. Now, let's get to the Drag Race portion of Raw View. This episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars makes reference to the Red Square of Moscow, Russia as part of a maxi challenge. It was recorded prior to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Cover y'all's butts. Mm -hmm. So quick little recap. Shea blocked Trinity first. And then Shea 
um, got blocked by Jinx. So, who will get blocked next? I did not know that it is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Shay trying to play with the girls acting like the plunger is a good thing and they're all like oh is it good do I need to keep it do I, should I lose I don't know <laughs> but now I'm not blocked technically you are still blocked on my account technically <laughs> I'm just kidding Life's like a wheel. like a RuPaul's nose looking like the em Emily Corpse ride no nostrils again <laughs> a V V is not a vowel bitch <laughs> <laughs> but for a second, I forgot what vowels were. I'm like, oh wait, A E I O U. Okay, vowels. <laughs> oh, Wheel of Fortune. I used to like that show. I can't watch it anymore though. But I used to really like it. The realness of Fortune Ball. So the girls are doing a ballroom, not ballroom, a ball, which means a lot of looks. Which means I might want to go ahead and fast forward through all this bull and get to the runway. Yeah. Why gotta be white? Oh, now why I gotta be white? Mama doesn't sew. Same. Have your sewing skills improved or not a bit? Not no. a bit. But had it been like a regular season, they'd be like, "It's been thirty freaking years and none of y'all still know how to sew." Mm-hmm. You know, First shade, we secretly be in my closet. Now she in Valentina's closet, trying to be a bride. <laughs> and people started really thinking that I was white, and then my credit score went up. You're not white. Uh, where are you at? Where? What are we doing? I'm just not. One thing I will say is that Trinity, she is helpful. I know she can come off really like bitchy, but she is helpful though. That's one thing I'm gonna give Trinity. And I'm just checking in to see if you want to join me. The Trinity being messy, honey, Milne. They're recruiting the girls, but it's all fake because, like, it's only like, what, like seven girls there? So, like, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows what's going on. This is Jasmine Malachi Masters, and it is time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. And that has been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Yeah, this season RuPaul said, just throw me at anything. It's cool. <laughs> uh, this look is, it's not bad, but it's kind of, you know, I'll rent it. <laughs> okay, Miss Vanna, she's still holding up. She looks different, you know, but she still looks good. <laughs> Do y'all think Vanna and Pat ever did the nasty behind the wheel? <laughs> but for real though, I wonder have they ever done anything. Oh my god, that's Vanna wearing black. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this. If not because I really like it that much, but because I can see Vanna White. Like I'm like I can see it. Like it's not like I'm thinking like most girls are gonna just have a gown and it could be anybody, but I'm like, okay, this could be Vanna White. <laughs> See, like, me, this is not giving me Vanna White. This could be anybody. This could be Dorothy Dandridge. Um, Jennifer Holliday. <laughs> it's cute. I'm going to rent the look, but it's not giving me Vanna White. You know? And not because she's black. It's just because, like, it's just not Vanna White. You are stunning, Vanna. You? I can see Vanna wearing this, but too much hips. It's too much. Vanna wouldn't do that. And it's a little messy in that area, too. She wouldn't do that. I will, I will rent it, but... Vanna wouldn't show that much hip. <laughs> this could be Vanna White. I hate the wig, though. I do hate the wig. <laughs> but I will rent it. Raja. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> okay, I'm going to buy this. <laughs> I'm going to buy this. I actually like this. Yeah, I like this. Ooh. Like, okay, like her and Willow. Like, do y'all have to always be, like, completely different? Like, you don't have to always prove that you're different out of the box. Just give us a fucking Vanna White look. Like, the dress is kind of Vanna. Kind of. It is. It, it is kind of Vanna. But you're looking like pebbles from Flintstones. Like, why? So because of, like, the trying to be different, I'm not going to buy or rent this. Vivian. Crush. 
crushing the velvet. Oh, hi, me. I don't really get Vanna from this look. I don't. I know I should, but I don't. Is the look bad? No, I'll rent the look, but I don't really get Vanna. Besides her being white or blonde here. <laughs> um, yeah. The dress is very Vanna. I hate the wig, though. I know she was trying to go for it, but I just don't like, I don't think it's done real. But I will rent the look, though. I will rent it. And then I swear, it doesn't really feel like it's that many girls here. Yet, it's a lot of girls. <laughs> first, Jinx Monsoon serving whatever happened to baby. Okay, at first I'm like, what is before and after? I don't get it. So she's doing Jane Fonda. I mean, I don't really follow Jane Fonda like that. I never really got into it like that. I mean, but I guess it kind of looks like her. More grown up or something like that, you know? So, I'll rent it. Old Tooth Fairy. She's coming for your crown. I don't get it. And the wings are kind of, you know, flimsy. I don't get it. Because, I mean, how do we know what the Gold Tooth Fairy looked like before? So, I mean, I don't get it. Like, there's no reference, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to buy or rent this. The drag queen, Elizabeth. Ooh, she's coming straight from I don't get it. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be Bob later, yet you still just look like Monet. You didn't do any old makeup or anything. It's like, okay, if you would have done a Bob kind of more look and made yourself look older, then I would understand, but... Yeah, no, I'm gonna pass on this one too. I'm not gonna buy or rent it. So I'm going to I would I would buy this, but I'm gonna rent it. Because I think this is really cool. A dress with bags attached to it, that's really cool. I'm assuming she's going for like Erica Badu bag lady. But then this doesn't look like a after. Like, I mean I, there's where's the where's the reference? I'm like, I could see if, like, maybe Erica, I don't know, older, maybe gray here, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. I've chosen a look that Olivia Newton John. This look, I don't get it. Where's the after? You look just like you. Look, you look just like her before. What, is the after you comb the hair out a little more? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. This runway, I don't understand anything of it. I'm gonna pass on it. Serving Cardi B. Arthur. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I've been reading it wrong. Okay. I'm thinking of doing like before and after. Like, okay, before when they were young and then after. So they're mixing names. But I still stand by everything I said. So now. <laughs> I'm booting this whole runway theme. Vivian serving Princess Diana Ross. Ooh. I don't like it. Still. <laughs> no. Serving RuPaul Charles the second. Oh. <laughs> Something about RuPaul saying knickers made me mad. I'm like, if that white woman don't shut up. <laughs> Um, she looks pretty. I like the wig. I, like I said, I already booted this whole runway, so. <laughs> the lavender fields of Provence, it's Jinx Monsoon. This is actually really cute. <laughs> I'm actually going to buy this surprisingly. I think Trinity did a really good job helping her. I think I buy it because I like the purple, like, veiled around the eyes. I'm going to buy it. I still don't really get the theme. I would have liked this more without the like, I'm a black girl going to sleep. I'm a tie my little turban in the front to, to lay down the baby hairs. I don't like that part in the front. I don't like it. I don't think it really goes well with like wedding, you know. Um, but the dress, I'll rent the dress. Isle of Ireland. It's Monet Exchange. Yes, ma'am. I'm buying this. It's done really well. I'm like, I'm surprised she made this. I like it. Hawaii's Black Sand Beach. It's Jada Essence Hall. Really made this? Wow. 
if she made, I, I don't buy it. There's no way she made this. There's no way. There's no way. But I'm buying it. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. But I'm buying it. Inspired by the Golden Pagoda in Myanmar, it's Raja. I'm going. I'm okay. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I almost took. I almost rented it. I just wish that this the waist would have been really cinched in. Like I know the shoulders are kind of making it look smaller, but I wish it would just much just pinched in some, give a little more shape in that middle part. But I'm gonna buy this. By the pink city of Jaipur, oh. India, it's Evie Oddly. I hated the way she walked in, and I don't like this look really. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't care for it. I don't really get it. So I'm gonna pass on it. Fired by the mm. great blue hole of the leaves, it's the. I'm going to rent this, but I'm bored. Is it well done? Yeah. Is it basic? Yes. Is she talented? Yes. But am I bored? Yes. But I'm going to rent it. Latex fashion. <laughs> Trinity, I know she didn't make this. There, that bitch, she, made, she did not make this. Yes, yeah, she did. She's, she's talented. Yes, ma'am, girl. My favorite part is the wig, though. Like, you know when Jasmine Kennedy came to the finale wearing that heavy wig? This is what her wig needed to look, to, to look like. This wig is so nice. If she don't do a nasty poison ivy look with this, girl, I can't. Yes, ma'am. I'm up the runway. I still love the wig, but looking at it from the back, I'm like, I kind of hate that the reds are different tones, but it's still good. Oh. And Jada as his whole. So Trinity, the Tuck, and Jada made top two. And I agree because like their sewn outfits were the best for real. Yeah. Come on, green light. Here go, here go Trinity. Already being campy. <laughs> At least be campy one second after the song. One, two, uh, 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 I'm just noticing. I'm like, it's already another another Beyonce song. She's coming soon. <laughs> um, but you know they're both doing pretty good. I guess Jade is doing a little more moves, so it's cute. And secretly, I feel like the girls could give a little more energy, though, to this song. A little more. Uh, but it's cute. That split was a little suspicious. <laughs> it was a little mystique on her season. <laughs> Jada won. I agree. Out of the two, she won. Took it a little more serious. Not her getting jinx, so she can be on Shay's good side. <laughs> I got it for you, Shay. Black girls unite. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Did you guys enjoy this episode? I didn't. But what's new? <laughs> no, it's like, it's just because y'all know I don't really get into the sewing challenges. I just find it boring. I know people love it. Like, seeing the end product is fun, but like just seeing them in the workroom talking and sewing is like boring to me. It's like there's no. It's just, it is boring. It's just a bunch of yappity, 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 yappity. Like, okay, what else? So, yeah, it's draining. But, um, yeah, besides that, yeah. What y'all think? <laughs> Do y'all agree with the outcome? Do y'all think Jinx should have got the plunge? Let me know down below. And thank y'all for being here as anyway, as always. And I'll see you guys for the next video. So, remember to stay beat. To stay beautiful. But most importantly... Stay blessed. Anybody looking to get circumcised? Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye. What's the problem? Come on, I'll take you home. Ah, ha, ha.